12 News is your local election headquarters. Tonight we continue previewing next week's biggest races in southern New England. In Massachusetts, voters could make a historic change to how elections are run in the Bay State. That's if they approve question two on Tuesday's ballot. 12 News Politics Editor Ted DC breaks down what's at stake new tonight. It's called ranked choice voting and it's already used up in Maine. Now Massachusetts voters must decide if they want to change how election winners are determined. The 4th District primary last month to succeed Congressman Joe Kennedy was a heartbreaker for Democrat Jesse Mermel. She lost by just one point as rival Jake Auchincloss came out on top with only 23% of the vote. If there was ranked choice voting, do you think you'd have won that primary? There is no way to know, Ted, and it's not the point. Now Mermel has become a poster child for question two on this year's Massachusetts ballot, which would move the state to ranked choice voting. And it takes away a problem that, frankly, so many of us in the fourth saw all the time. Voters feeling like they had to play political pundit, choose between the lesser of evils, as opposed to just voting for the candidate who inspires you. This video created by supporters shows how the system would work. On the ballot, voters would rank the candidates in a race as their first choice, second choice, and so on. If one candidate gets more than 50% of first choice votes, they win. But if not, the candidate with the least support is eliminated and their votes are redistributed to whoever was ranked as second choice. That process continues until someone tops 50% of the vote. The thing we're most confident about, that I'm most confident about, is that it makes voting a little bit harder. Aton Hirsch is a Providence native who now teaches political science at Tufts University. He fears the average voter may struggle to rank a long list of candidates. Me, look, I have a PhD in political science. I was in the fourth district. I knew exact, I could tell you right now my ranking for all those candidates, but most voters are not in that position. And um, so it's easy for me to rank nine people. Maybe I'd even have fun doing it, but um, that just gives me more voting power compared to someone who doesn't have the time or interest in doing that. Mermel argues that doesn't give voters enough credit. Listen, if you can rank your favorite Halloween candy, ice cream flavor, sports teams, you have what it takes to understand participating in ranked choice voting. A UMass Amherst poll this week shows a tight race on question two. Most top Massachusetts Democrats support the change, but Republican Governor Charlie Baker is voting no. Ted Nisi, 12 News.